Um, I want to echo Mr. Sheldon and say thank you for your time and attention today. The question has been asked, why are you running for Common Pleas Court Judge? And I will tell you that I have devoted my life to litigation. Um, my mother said it was nice that I could find an occupation consistent with my personality. You can take that how you want. But from the time that I was in law school working with the Summit County Prosecutor's Office to the time that I spent as a judicial attorney for William Baird over in Summit County, and then later with the Court of Appeals and in my own private practice, I have always just so totally admired what trial attorneys do. What you guys do, what trial attorneys do, is democracy in action. Next to voting, that is how people participate in their government. We take people from off the streets, we bring them together as individuals, we entrust our most solemn decisions to these people, and they come together, they live up to what we ask them to do, and they come together as a jury. And every time, over a hundred times that I've tried cases, to a jury, every time I see this happen, I am once again just so proud of our American system. I was trying a case and I had a jury and I said, what is your opinion of the jury system? And it was a young man from Australia who said, I'm a naturalized citizen and what I like most about America is your jury system. Because what you guys do here is different than what I've seen anywhere else. And so like every trial lawyer, I dreamed of the day that maybe I could be the judge. Because, well, I always knew that my decisions were better than things. So, <laughs> you know, Medina's small enough that you really just have two, two, two Kimblers in the courthouse at the same time. Yeah, our house is small enough we can't have two in the same house sometimes. So I did what most women do. I waited. I deferred. But during that time, I worked. For 29 years, I have worked day in and day out representing thousands of clients in courtrooms throughout the state of Ohio and the federal courts. Court, I have represented people just like you, your family, and your friends. People who came and they were scared because they'd been sued and they wanted someone to stand with them and walk them through the process. And so I have, tried, I have served in more than 1,400 cases in the state of Ohio just in the common police court. That doesn't include like municipal courts or county courts or any other types of tribunals. Over 1,400 cases just in common police court. I have done over 54 appeals in the state of Ohio, including five, well, plus five, in the Ohio Supreme Court. So during the time that I've been waiting and deferring, I've been working. And I've tried to be of service to my profession. I have served as a mentor under the Ohio Supreme Court's mentoring process. I have worked with legal aid. I have done criminal pro bono work. And I have sharpened my skills at each level. I have been honored to teach for the Ohio Judicial College. I have also taught for the Ohio Magistrates Association. I've taught for the Ohio Bar Association. So while I was waiting, I was not resting. While I was waiting, I was not thinking, well, someday maybe my turn will come. We'll see what happens. While I was waiting, I was honing the skills and getting the experience that was specifically necessary for the type of role that I would want to play. And if the question is, why are you running? I am running for the trial court because I believe in the American trial system. I am running for the trial court because I believe in trial attorneys. I am running for the trial court because that is where I have devoted my energies for the last 29 years and where I would like to take that experience and energy to represent the people in Medina County on behalf of your friends, neighbors, and clients. Thank you very much.